Saudi Arabia and UAE pledge $100 million to Ivanka's Women Entrepreneurs Fund on the same weekend Trump signed record-breaking arms deal brokered by Jared. During an event with Ivanka Trump, Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates pledged $100 million to the First Daughters Proposed Women Entrepreneurs Fund, on the same weekend her father signed a record arms deal with the Saudis. The fund, which Ivanka first proposed during her trip to Berlin, Germany, will be run by the World Bank to help female entrepreneurs with the capital and networking resources necessary to kickstart their businesses. But Saudi Arabia is known as the world's most gender-segregated nation and women, who are famously barred from driving, live under the supervision of a male guardian. News of the $100 million pledge came on the heels of a report claiming Ivanka's husband Jared Kushner intervened during a $110 billion arms deal to get Saudi Arabian officials a better price. Kushner paused a meeting with the Saudis in the White House and called the CEO of Lockheed Martin, which makes a military weapon that was on offer, the New York Times reported. Ivanka, who was accompanying her father on his first international trip as president, said, as a female leader within the Trump administration, my focus is to help empower women in the United States and around the globe. News of Ivanka's fun broke in April, when she took up German Chancellor Angela Merkel's invitation to attend the Women's 20 Summit and pitched the idea to World Bank President Jim Yong Kim. The $100 million will be geared specifically towards women in the Middle East and Kim said the money would be counted towards a $1 billion women's empowerment fund the World Bank hopes to announce at July's G20 summit. While the money will be controlled by World Bank and not Ivanka, critics were quick to raise President Trump's repeated attacks on the Clinton Foundation during the presidential campaign. Saudi Arabia donated between $10 to $25 million to the Clinton Foundation, according to its website which Donald Trump called pay-for-play donations during the campaign. None of the donations were made while Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. In the June 2016 posting on Facebook, Trump said, Saudi Arabia and many of the countries that gave vast amounts of money to the Clinton Foundation want women as slaves and to kill gays. Hillary must return all money from such countries. On Sunday, Ivanka spoke at a round table on women's economic empowerment, and credited Saudi Arabia's progress before adding, there's still a lot of work to be done and freedoms and opportunities to continue to fight for.